According to the U.S. Geological Survey, each person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water per day. Most of it is wasted. But Penn State horticulturist Rob Cameron believes that this precious resource could be reused. Globally, our fresh water supplies are disappearing. And it's critical we begin to look at an alternative. How can we take wastewater and make that a water resource? The secret that we have is a new technology of integrating various biofilters which are superior to the traditional forms of treatment. A biofilter, simply put, is using living organisms to filter out pollutants. And a great example of this is a wetlands. We've taken that naturally occurring wetland and artificially created it to address pollutants in wastewater. This system represents the latest advancement in biofilter technology to treat wastewater. One of the main advantages of this is it takes much less space. So this small system actually could treat wastewater from an entire household. What it does is it integrates various types of biofilters together into one integrated unit. So we have living walls, constructed wetlands, and a technology that we invented, a living column. All these systems are filled with, filled with various types of materials which get colonized with bacteria, other types of microbes, and they are really the workhorses of this system. So they take the nutrients and other materials that are in wastewater and utilize them as food. In addition, we can supplant this biofilter with all types of plants from food crops to ornamentals. In this case, we have everything from basil to rosemary to tomato plants growing in the system. Now we come up with a water that's been clean, that's had all types of things taken out, including what could be potentially harmful bacteria. And by going through some other processes, this water can now be used for everything from reuse in a home to flush commodes, irrigation purposes, or even taken to the point of being used for drinking water. The whole logic is to look at wastewater not as a waste, but as a resource.